So today we're back in the laundry room. And do you remember how yesterday I said we could do this for $750 or less? For $750 or less. I'm going to need you to just go ahead and forget that because I went a little over budget. But I got everything that we needed to remodel this laundry room. And I also changed a couple of the plants. So in the last video, I mentioned to you that I was going to wallpaper the back wall where the washer and dryer are going to sit. I changed my mind and decided instead to go with paint. I'm going to paint it a black paint. And this will be the accent wall. The reason I did this is because of the floor. So our floor, albeit dirty, it is a pattern and texture that I felt like if I added wallpaper to it, it would just be too busy. So you see here, if I did a funky wallpaper, it would be funky floor, funky wallpaper. I didn't want to do that. So I've decided instead to paint this wall black. I'm going to go ahead and start painting that wall right now. That way we can hook up the washer and dryer and continue to wash clothes and dry clothes because when you have a family of nine, even if you're remodeling your laundry room, you need to those you need those things working at all times. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get to work. to rearranging our laundry room on a whim this past week was my husband's last day at his traditional nine to five job. My husband and I have had a rocky, bumpy road to getting to this place where he could quit his job, his, his nine to five job. It started out seven years ago. I won't give you seven years worth of story. We'll, we'll play the long game on YouTube when it comes to that, but let me give you the, the, shorter than Cliff Notes version of it. It wasn't always that we could just take out our washer and dryer and put it at the end of our driveway for someone to come pick up in 20 minutes, which is what happened when we put our old washer and dryer out on our driveway. It said, take me, and 20 minutes later, literally someone came and my husband helped them load it up. And it hasn't always been that we've been in this financial position where we could do that, nor were we in a place where we could work together. It's been a dream of ours for seven or eight years that we would be together as a family 24-7, 365, that we would be a bit more sovereign and we weren't investing too much time apart from one another. My husband and I have a very interesting history, which we'll talk about at another time, or you can read about in my blog, which I will link down below. I say this because if you're in a hard season in marriage, don't give up hope. Bless you. <laughs> oh, bless you. I should keep that in there. Who hates a baby sneeze? No one. It was only about a decade ago where my husband and I were on food stamps. And while there's nothing wrong with food stamps, we absolutely needed the assistance. There was a lot of guilt that came with that. We wanted to be on the other side of the blessing. Uh, we are Christians. The Bible says that it is better to give than it is to receive, and it seemed like we were always on the receiving end. We were the ones that were driving around looking for free washers and dryers, and now we've worked really hard to get to the place where we could get 
my husband away from his traditional nine to five job in order to be together all the time and work on our own businesses and become a little bit more financially sovereign. It's made a big impact on our lives. And when I look back at the girl who decided to try to earn money from home before it was a fad, before you saw it on your phone all the time and you heard other moms talking about it, I'm so glad that I took that leap seven years ago. Financially, I'm a huge, huge believer that if you build one stream of income from home, you can build a hundred. And we got to that point where we felt comfortable to, not because we were comfortable with like buckets of cash coming in, but we were comfortable to know and trust that when we need to increase our income, we can do that, the two of us, on our own with the skills and the gifts and the talents that we have. And so I wanna encourage whoever is watching this and you're like, I don't get it. How can you just wake up one day and remodel your laundry room? And I don't understand why did your husband let his job go? It used to be that my husband's income was our only income. And if you have been feeling nudged to do something different, to if you see other people who are living this life where you're like, I want to be together all the time, 24 seven, I want to be, uh, I want to do our family different. I want to, I want to go against the norm. I want to say, do it, pray for it. In fact, I want to leave you with a podcast that I recorded not too long ago, and it's called A Peaceful Blueprint to Increasing Your Income. I believe that as a Christian, you never have to lay down your peace. It is available 24-7, 365. And if you don't have peace about your financial situation, then I totally recommend that one because seven or eight years ago, that was us. Okay, it's getting windy and I'm sure my audio is going to be terrible, so let's go in and get these washer and dryer moved in and hooked up. You ready? You ready? All right, let's go. The next phase is countertops and a shelf. And then I gotta figure out <clears throat> what we're gonna, we might be adding a second shelf. I said, sh I think I did say two shelves to begin with, didn't I? I have that on, let's go back to the footage. Two shelves and wallpaper, curtain rod and curtains. Yep, I did say two shelves. So we might be putting in, I think it'll look better with two shelves. Anyway. Laundry remodel coming along. I'll see you guys next time. Mom, watch them. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> I'll see you next time on Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Can I keep this? No, you may not. You want to say anything to your friends? No, sorry. All right, I'll see you guys next time after breakfast.